It's 90.3 FM, KEXP, streaming all around the world at KEXP.org. My name is Abby, in for the Midday Show, and I am in the live room right now with Wise Blood. So excited to have you here. Take it away. Listening to Wise Blood live on KEXP 90.3 FM here in the live room. She's a beautiful record out called Titanic Rising, and I can't wait to hear another song. Like a baby 
so hard like I always do I'm so scared of being alone, it's true, it's true I see you every day That's not enough, I got this secret Running along a lonely line Always trying to make my keeper mine Gets me every time Then again I might be falling down Sailing off on my ships to nowhere Blood live on KEXP 90.3 FM, performing right here in the live room with songs from Titanic Rising, her latest album out on Sub Pop Records. She just played a sold out show to last night at the Tractor and will be playing in Vancouver tonight at St. James Hall and tomorrow at the Dugford Lounge in Portland. And thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, yeah. And I was wondering if you could go um, around the room and introduce your band. Oh, incredible. Yeah. We have Walter McClements, Stroke in the Ivories, King of the Nord, also singing. We have Stephen Heath on guitar and Eliana Athade on bass and vocals and Kevin Yokota on drums and samples. Amazing. Thank you all for being here. And I, Titanic Rising is one of my favorite records of 2019. Like, 
hands down. I, I love it so much. And I love that it's this all-encompassing kind of artistic piece, like the album art, uh, the lyrics itself, they all kind of have these um, natural elements to it. And I was just wondering uh, why connect to kind of the natural world? Wait, why connect to the natural world? Yeah, I feel that you you kind of connect with these natural elements like water, like water and yeah. yes, especially. We're like we're mo we're like sixty percent water or something, but mm -hmm. um yeah no I I just I've always been in touch with nature and I've always been kind of in touch with where we come from, and um, I think the term natural can be you know pretty lenient. There's a lot of different things that we might not think are related to us like stardust and you know, um, like water, we can't really breathe under there, but it's still a part of our bodies and a part of maybe symbolically, um, you know, the subconscious, you know, the, um, kind of primordial soup. So a lot of the water imagery is not only referencing Titanic, but also kind of water as a subconscious symbol of these, you know, alternative internal realms. And with these internal realms, I love that you play with the surrealism, especially uh, in your music videos, just like uh, playing with horror and uh, just kind of these cool, as you mentioned, symbolic ways of looking at kind of at the psychological condition. And I was wondering uh, what made you so curious to play in these inner realms? I think I've always been like a, a big feeler and I feel a tremendous amount of emotion all the time and I'm constantly navigating that internal landscape. So I kind of couldn't ignore it from a very young age. And I kind of got in touch with it too, I think, because my parents thought that way as well and kind of raised me to think that way. So it's, it's maybe in my genes. <laughs> in the genes, yes. And in my blue jeans. I love it. And uh, how, do you, how do you navigate those realms? Um, you, you've always been a feeler, but how, you know, when you feel all the feels. Oh, when how you do feel you, the feels. Yeah, exactly. How do you navigate the realm yeah. of the feels? Exactly. <laughs> oh, man, it's a really good question. I mean, it's, it, it can be pretty tumultuous, but I, I think it's really important to, um, to kind of conquer any kind of self doubt, self-hatred, self-deprecation. I think people get really caught up assuming they're making themselves a better person by beating themselves up constantly. And a little bit of, you know, self-love can go a long way. And I know that's very stereotypical, but practicing self-love and speaking it is a lot different than actually doing it. So. Yeah. And I don't think it's stereotypical at all. I feel like self-love is kind of something hard to practice or like society tells us it, it's, it's hard to do. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of your lyrics kind of grapple with that, uh, like something to believe. I, I remember there's this line that just hit me right away. Like I got a case of the empties and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I do. You know and, I mean? yeah. yeah. And I, I, I was wondering with, you know, still navigating this realm, um, how, I feel like with these lyrics, you're kind of navigating uh, that connection, that human connection. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess, what, what do you have uh, with your lyrics to say about the human connection, especially in today's world? Oh, I do. I think we're all connected in ways that we can't perceive. And I think that, and that's not like a esoteric hippy dippy way of putting it. I think it's been scientifically proven that there are connections between things and quantum situations that we can't fully comprehend. So it's important to remember that, you know, the, the feeling of isolation and chaos, um, I think underneath all that, it, there is a benevolent force to the universe and a benevolent force to human consciousness. And um, you can believe in interconnectivity without it having to be um, something that is frowned upon by skeptics, you know. I think it's been scientifically proven and emotionally proven time and time again. So, yeah, I find that the human connection is a little bit um, in trouble, probably because we think we're being connected on our phones and it's actually, you know, slightly more isolating. But I think people are kind of waking up to that and realizing that IRL is way better. I agree. IRL is definitely better. And also, uh, I, I feel, in the, especially with the track movies, just kind of that moment of needing that in real life connection, like that music video where there is just that guy watching the movie, you <laughs> yes. know, just kind of like, hi, I'm disconnecting from everything. Yeah. And I, I love that this, and then just the woman that's suspended in water. I, I just, I'm, I'm curious about the imagery that you picked with the album. Yeah. To, the woman in the water yeah. is a starlet. Yes. She's like a stereotypical kind of whitewashed 
um, narcissistic starlet under the water in the subconscious realm. Yes. Um, I don't think she, she doesn't mean to be what she is, but she is. And the people watching it are kind of like, you know, kind of like um, being hypnotized by that, as I think everybody has who grew up on movies. <laughs> and uh, what was your relationship with movies growing up? Oh, I, I loved them so much. I was, I, I was very emotionally impacted by them. But when I went through puberty around like 12 years old, I started getting these feelings of, oh man, the movies have been lying to me. They've been brainwashing me. And I boycotted movies for almost like two and a half years and um, couldn't really sit through them because I was just like, oh, it's full of, you know, BS <laughs> right off the bat. I was like, this is emotionally manipulative and it's not really helping humanity in any way. It's just kind of, you know, damaging, um, my expectations of reality, but I think since then I've come to really appreciate that form of escapism and, and the kind of damage they've done. So I have a, a very um, bittersweet relationship with movies overall. I like the escapism, yes. <laughs> we all need a little bit of that. We do. And uh, I believe movies is also the next song you're about to play? Yes. Cool. I can't wait to hear it. It's Wise Blood live on KEXP. Dreams don't give credit 
You're listening to Wise Blood live on KEXP, playing songs from Titanic Rising, her new album out on Sub Pop. And you can catch her tonight at St. James Hall in Vancouver, BC, and tomorrow night in Portland at the Doug Fur Lounge. And you got one more song for us. Yes. Awesome. This song is called Something to Believe. Drank a lot of coffee today Got lost in the fray I gave all I had for a time Then by some strange design I got a case of the empties The ruler of my world A lost, forgotten pearl When fire leaves a girl Bigger and louder than the voices 
You just heard Wise Blood live on KEXP in the live room. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having us. Anytime. And she has a beautiful new record out called Titanic Rising out on Sub Pop Records right now. And you can catch her tonight in Vancouver, B.C. at St. James Hall and tomorrow night at the Doug Fur Lounge in Portland. And I just want to thank our awesome video team capturing all of the magic here in the live room and photos and uh, Kevin engineering the session, Matt on board op, Mitch, Laura, and Mina for helping out and everyone in the viewing gallery. Thank you so much for attending. Uh, we wouldn't be able to do these sessions without your support. And uh, thanks again for being here and back to more music at KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.